Hi everyone, it's me Keith again. So welcome to another video tutorial. This time I'm going to teach you on how you're going to save your progress in Google Forms. So let's say you have filled out a form or you are trying to fill out a form. However, suddenly the internet connection goes down. Okay, so what can we do about it? Well, this is one way on how you're going to save your progress in Google Forms officially. Why is it official? It's because there are a lot of ways on how you're going to save your progress. For example, is if you're going to use a third-party app web application known as Datascope, then you will be able to save your progress. However, it is not officially licensed by Google. So this time, I'm going to teach you on how we are going to enable this feature. Actually, actually, guys, this is the new feature in Google. Previously, it is known as G Suite from Google, right? But nowadays, it is known as Google Workspace. So yeah, this is one better feature in Google Workspace from which we can save our progress while we are trying to fill out a form. So it is good for online quizzes and exams. Okay, so let's start. Now, the first thing that you are going to do is to visit the link that I'm going to provide below on the description, okay? So this is the link from which you can do a beta sign up okay so this is a beta sign up form that automatically saves your response in google form all you need to do is just to click on next okay and you need to provide your information in here you need to use your workspace for education account for this one to be enabled now i am suggesting this one to the administrator of a workspace account for a particular school okay they are the ones who needs to sign up for this one just follow the video instructions that is provided in there and definitely you will be able to sign it up. Now, if you don't have a domain, then I'm going to use the subdomain for this one. So just follow all the steps on the radio buttons, uh, whichever I'm trying to click. Just do as I say, click on the check boxes. Once you have checked on it, click on submit. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is just to wait, okay? Just to wait. For me, I have waited for at least three days for this one to work, okay? So after three days, I checked on my Gmail account and I was able to have or receive a message from Ms. Melissa Metz. It's one of the developers of Google, okay? So they provided me with all the instructions and of course the details of this particular feature that they are trying to provide as well as the feedback on, of course, what are the things that you can do since you are an administrator then definitely you can provide feedback on what are the things that you can improve or help improve this particular beta feature that they are providing now also attached in here is some sort of a frequently asked question form this one right here okay so it's like what are the usual questions that typical users are asking so you can check on it of course um, when will it be available uh, definitely this will be available on the second quarter of 2021 so definitely it's already available right now okay so uh, as of the moment it's the 30th of May 2021 okay so you need to read all of it then for as long as you are able to be get clarified then um, all the people who are included on your workspace account as an administrator for that particular school then definitely they will be able to avail this particular service okay again all the users that are a part of the google workspace account of that particular school will be able to avail this benefit okay so that's it for now i hope you have learned something from that one if you have a couple of questions if you have questions in mind right now guys you can always feel free to ask it or comment it down below and i will be happy to answer it for you okay so that's it and subscribe for more bye for now